What's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to break down Lionel Messi's legendary shot in his Inter Miami debut from a neurological and biomechanical lens. Because honestly, if you look at this guy move, there is no doubt as to why he is the greatest of all time. And of course, he does a lot of these different things that I'm going to point out for you step by step subconsciously. Okay, so he's not consciously thinking about his hips he's not consciously thinking about like what are my eyes doing what are what is my foot doing what is my vestibular system doing like he doesn't consciously control these things okay but he has such great talent that it just seems effortlessly the way he does it and the most important thing for for peak performance is to really understand these patterns and also understand that a lot of these different things that Lionel Messi does so well are trainable, okay? So, of course, not everyone can be a Messi, but we can break down little things that he does so well on a subconscious level and actually train them on a conscious level, okay? So, I hope this makes sense. And the first thing that I want to point out, so we're going to break this video down into three different parts, okay? The first part is we're going to look at his proprioception as well as his ability to use his biomechanics and use the muscles actually to his advantage. Okay. The second part is going to be, we're going to look at his vestibular function. So his overall balance. And then the third part is we're going to look at his visual system. So what does he do with the eyes to actually yeah, shoot the shot? Because he is really known. So if you, if you've been following Messi, I mean, I've been always a big Messi fan. That's also why, of course, I'm rocking the inner Miami head. Although I got this head before Messi got here. Okay. I live close. I live close to um, the arena here. So I actually live in Fort Lauderdale. They actually don't play in Miami. They actually play in Fort Lauderdale, which is actually pretty fun. Um, and I mean, I've been following him for, for, I don't know, since 2006. Um, so like, what is that? 17 years. And he's just like well known for his amazing free kick technique and he's really deadly when it comes to these shots okay so there is a certain pattern there is a certain mechanism there is a certain technique aspect of it that he just does so really well okay so if you look at the first thing that he does so well and i talk about this really often when i speak about athletes and their performance the first thing that messi does really, really well is the perfect transition between creating tension, creating force, and then going straight to relaxation. Okay. So one thing that I always say is the best athletes in the world, they're able to transition from tension to relaxation within milliseconds. And they do this so effortlessly and they do this all almost subconsciously. Okay. And that requires a really high level of proprioception, as well as, of course, mobility, strength, and all of these different movement qualities that we all um, need, okay? So if you look at his transition, okay? So the way he shoots the shot, he goes from this really extended position, okay? So as you can see, his hips are extended, his lumbar spine is extended, so he's like very extended in the left side of his body. Okay. And if you actually look at that transition from extension to flexion, it's almost textbook. So it's really something that you see with only really a few athletes that do this so well. Okay. So now he's still in this extension position. I'm just actually just going to slow this down here. So if you look at this transition, okay, so he's in extension and now he goes into flexion and now he's in this perfectly angular. Unfortunately, there is this referee there, but you can hopefully see how perfectly, and I'm actually going to draw this out for you, how perfectly of an arc he's able to create from his head to his toes, okay? And this is basically what, what allows him to create that amount of force into the ball, okay? It's that stability aspect. It's basically just going from lengthening to the muscle to shortening the muscle. Okay. And if you look at, if you look at strength and if you look at a lot of these like really good movers, they're actually able to first lengthen the muscle really well. So go going from a lengthened position into a shortened position. Okay. And he obviously he has really high quality hip mobility and 
not only hip mobility, but also just this neurological effect of transitioning so smoothly from extension into flexion. Okay, so extension, 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 boom, flexion. Maybe there's another angle that we can look at. Um, maybe this angle right here. You can probably see this really well here. Yeah. So if you look at if you look at this angle right here, he goes from again. This perfectly extended hip into flexion. Okay, it's just this. It's just this boom. It, it gets so fast and it's so smooth. Okay, but this is not the. This is not the. The really fascinating part about the shot. The really fascinating part are his feet. If you look at how amazing he's able to transition from supination to pronation to supination, so from early stance to mid stance, and then he just like basically flips over and super like resupinates the foot which is absolutely incredible so if you just look at his right foot okay so he's a lefty so in order to actually create force with his left foot he strikes the ground with the outside part of his calcaneus okay which is basically the heel and then he transitions over boom so he strikes it right here and then he transitions over to that mid stance position right there unfortunately there's always guys in the picture <laughs> um but he transitions over from supination so he goes on the outside of his foot to the inside part of his foot and now look at his body position again we're talking again about this perfectly angular alignment here okay so this is angle okay so it's just perfect and he has he's actually in that mid stance position what and that basically just means his his arch of his foot okay his midfoot like drops to the floor to create force and at this portion of the the gait cycle okay we actually are able to produce the highest amounts of force number one and number two we also have the highest amounts of balance okay so that's where vestibular function and balance comes into play okay and the coolest part though is like how he re supinates the foot right there so he slides his foot, and this is crazy in my eyes. Look at this. He slides his right foot. So he first plants, brings the medial arch down, and then he slides over. And it just looks so effortlessly. It looks so easy. It looks like he's really just not even thinking about it. So he does all of this completely subconscious. Okay, so just look at how well he's able to transition from supination to pronation to supination to create force okay just look at that right foot i think that is when i saw this in slow motion i was just like how the hell does this guy even do this and then obviously when we talk about his body position okay so he's he's almost falling to the side so any regular athlete probably like would not be able to keep his balance in check like he does okay and that's where we are in our next um area so this was basically just like the biomechanical breakdown and of course we could go into greater detail here but what i just want you to remember is like what i just wanted to point out is just this perfect transition from tension to relaxation and just this perfect like amount of force that he needs for the ball not too much not too little and it almost looks like he's just moving he's almost dancing on the pitch okay so that's what i really wanted to break down and again like just look at that foot proprioception so his brain knows exactly where is my foot in space to actually create and strike the ground or like strike the ball um which i think is just incredible okay so that's part one part two is obviously his balance okay so again i'm just gonna pause right in this position um right here okay so again he's really 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 strongly side bent okay and this is exactly where high level vestibular function comes into play okay so our vestibular system it sits in our inner ear and it has all of these different vestibular reflexes that actually travel down the spine and activate certain um, specifically extensor muscles to actually keep um fighting against gravity so we don't fall to the floor okay and messi's brain or messi's vestibular function is just absolutely ridiculous if you just look at this angle okay and again it's it's not only like vestibular function it's that combination between high levels of proprioception so the awareness of the limbs and body in space as well as his vestibular system his his balance okay so what he does really well is again he is able to go into that midfoot so he's able to strike the ground with his heel and then he plants his foot and then right here again he's 
in in he's bringing the arch the medial arch of the foot down so he can actually create force and is able to balance this all out okay so what he does really well here is just like being in that position for long enough to create force and to have the highest amounts of balance and again it's just that symphony between okay i'm able to re like create force i'm able to actually lengthen the muscle which is actually a form of relaxation because we're bringing the muscle back but then we actually bring the muscle again into this like force production state where he actually strikes the ball okay and again his, his vestibular system his balance system is just absolutely amazing and the next thing though is and we're staying with the vestibular system we're going to throw in the visual system if you just look at his eyes he is moving forward but his eyes don't move a single millimeter okay so his eyes are focused on the target and now as he's moving forward he's actually converging the eyes so he's bringing the eyes together and now he's striking the ball okay so that's also something to definitely keep in mind that he's just really top notch at moving and being able to keep the eyes fixated on the target which is again a combination of the visual system and the vestibular system all right the last thing that i want to talk about is just basically what he does with his eyes before he actually um before he actually hits the um the ball okay so you can probably see that from this angle pretty well yeah, so if we just, if we actually just look at him right now, so he's actually aiming at the target, okay? So he's aiming at the target, and what this does is it basically just allows his brain to recognize, okay, the goal is X amount of meters or inches or feet away, and I need to create X amount of force into the ball. But the interesting part here is, and this is something that I also train with every single one of my athletes, it's the ability to actually judge how far the goal is away, okay? So it's called depth judgment, visual depth judgment, where you basically just want to figure out how far is my target away. And I mean, we could go so deeply into that topic, but this is also something that is trainable because obviously you can't just bring out his uh, measurement stick and just measure how far the goal is away. So all of this happens within a few milliseconds where he just looks at the target, aims the target, shoots the ball, and hits the goal okay so what he does here and i think this is the last thing that i definitely want to point out is he focuses on the goal then he focuses on the ball okay so focus on the goal focus on the ball pretty natural movement what's happening here and now again we're talking about he keeps the eyes on the ball keeps the eyes on the ball keeps the eyes on the ball and as soon as he hits the ball boom he looks at the the goal and this is more important for him actually in his um, in his training, okay? Because this right here actually connects his brain with a with a movement map or with a force production map in his brain, okay? So if, as in this case, this is the perfect it was the perfect dose of force into the ball angle like it was just perfectly orchestrated but let's say he overshoots the target in his practice he will recognize okay this was a little bit too much force okay so basketball players also do the same thing like you shoot a shot so you basically just look at the target and then you just basically just like follow the ball and you just want to see okay like was that the right amount of force okay so this is basically what we call muscle memory almost okay so just training repetitiously again like when we're talking about these different visual skills i mean i could break down a lot more for you but if you just look at depth judgment right here he's perfect at just measuring how far is the goal away and how hard do i need to hit the ball in order to actually put the ball into the net okay and again this is these are all these different visual and proprioceptive and biomechanical skills that he just does so absolutely well and i think it's just absolutely critical i mean even if you just look at again how again perfect this whole arc is here like it is perfect he's just so good at creating force with little to no effort again like he just basically conquers physics with his body <laughs> in order to actually produce force and hit the ball which again I, i'm just absolutely fascinated 
um, by him. And we could, I could talk for hours about all the things that he does well, his pelvis, his feet, his neck. Like we could talk about everything in even greater detail, but I just wanted to break this down for you in a, yeah, in a, in a good amount of detail, just so you know, okay, like what's actually happening in Messi's brain, what's happening in his body. How is he able to actually move his body through space, manage gravity, um, create movement maps in order to actually hit the ball perfectly. And again, athletes, athletic performance, like all of these things, we think of them as, okay, like you're either talented or not. But if we just break these different skills down and if we actually know exactly how to train them and actually how to optimize a lot of these different reflexes and a lot of these different, like just subconscious behaviors that are going on, that's when we can actually improve athletic performance in a greater detail, okay? And all of this can actually transfer over to things like, you know, like visual training or also working um, on different movements or working out in the gym. Like there's different skills and like different um, exercises that we can do to actually transfer the performance on the pitch over to real life, okay? So again, this is just something that I think is, is really fascinating. And yeah, if you're interested in learning more about a lot of these different fun things, uh, we actually have a course coming up in August. It's going to be a two-day seminar. We're going to talk about a lot of these different things in even greater detail. I'm going to break down the vestibular system, the visual system, proprioception, biomechanics, how to connect neurology with biomechanics for optimal movements and performance. So if you're a coach, if you're a therapist, if you're an athlete, this is really the best course probably for you to take because I'm going to break down all of this in a practical manner. I'm going to talk about different assessments that you can do with your athletes or clients or patients to actually help them um, move, feel, and perform better. And then also like how to pick specific exercises. So yeah, if you want to sign up, check out the website, check out the link below. And yeah, I hope this was helpful and I see you guys in the next video.